my beautiful astrology soulmates and welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week of June 29th. I can't even believe we're ending June and moving into July like 2020. What is going on? So either way, I hope that you are doing well out there this week. Please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how you're doing. Let's just check in on each other this week. It's a big week. Mars has moved back home into the energy of Aries, going to see that playing out until the end of the year. We're not going to see a shift in that very Mars energy until we get towards 2021. So it is a week where the energy is going, right? And, and it doesn't have to be negative. Don't take that as a negative thing. There's a lot happening. There is assertion. There is aggression. Very stereotypical Mars and Aries kinds of energies. But this is also an opportunity with Mars and Aries to take action that is fruitful, that is bountiful, that is the warrior tapping into creativity and its greatest abundance. So there's a lot of good that comes with this energy as well. So don't listen to that trash that's just telling you Mars and Aries is all sets of crazy, but it is definitely a lot of energy running through us this week. To combine with that, we are in our last couple of weeks of a Mercury retrograde. So hopefully your Mercury retrograde is going all right as well. You are reviewing things. We will leave Mercury retrograde great on July 12th, so not there quite yet. But the big news we've really got going on this week is that we've not only got a lunar eclipse happening, but we've also got the second of three Jupiter-Pluto conjunctions, and this time these guys are retrograde. So it is a big week up in the cosmos. Let's start with the 30th. So on the 30th, we're going to see Jupiter and Pluto come together for, like I said, the second of their third conjunction. Now, the first time we saw this was in April. And as these two come together, it is like drive and focus and passion and mission. They come together every 13 years. So think about it. Back in April, what did you feel like? Zoom, you got super focused in and you started moving in this direction. It's an achievement you were going towards, something you wanted, something you felt called towards, something your feet were in motion about. Now, as these two are coming together in retrograde, Jupiter's expansion and wisdom and says, hey, we need teachers, we need training, comes together with Pluto's intensity and passion. And this is a combination of such divine good fortune for you, but it's going back towards something you were already looking at, working on, going over because they're both in retrograde. Where do you need to make an adjustment, get more training, get more information, bring the moral or ethical standards up? This is definitely going to apply to the government here in the United States for sure. We'll be looking at a lot of those things. Big things are happening and being put into motion this week. As well, we're going to see the full moon lunar eclipse happening as we end this week. Now, this is going to happen the 4th, the 5th, just depending on where you're at um, in the world. But for the United States, this is a big deal. It's happening on our birthday, which is very, very exciting. But the full moon lunar eclipse says that something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. But we're going to reset as well. And this is not a tiny reset. We are going to reset and bring some endings to the table. Bring the areas that need adjustment. And I have to tell you guys, after doing the election report over on astrologyhub.com in that podcast with Amanda, I just sat down with this eclipse and I am like, man, there is some information coming, I think, that is going to change the presidential election here in the United States. Now, I will tell you too that the intensity, the sheer intensity of a lunar eclipse or an eclipse in general is typically not the time where you want to be doing and starting a whole bunch of new things. If you can give it about a week to let this eclipse here in Capricorn settle down, but also show up with a big heart of gratitude. Some things you've been working on for a couple years are about to make their way to the end so that they can become what they need to be next, whether that be that it actually be the ending or this be the adjustment that kicks you in the direction of your own success, kicks you in the direction of your own healing, kicks you in the direction of whatever your next stage of lessons are. So it is a very big week. I would genuinely say if you can avoid doing the big things, signing the big things, doing any of that um, until about next week, you know, I think that that's a better, safer place. But of course, that will depend on your chart as well. And if you are celebrating the 4th of July, celebrate safe, 
be mindful of the dogs because the fireworks make them go crazy and the cats, but have a good, good time. And definitely come and join us on this channel this week if you can for the eat and greets. We've got Alejo coming over on Monday. He's going to talk to us all about eclipses, so you don't want to miss out on that. He's got this beautiful talk on it, so I can't wait to share that. And we're going to end this week with Tony Howard coming over to talk about planets when they go out of bounds. Maybe you've listened and heard me say that in a couple videos. Now we're going to jump a little bit more in depth into that and what does that mean how do you work with that all of this good stuff so i hope to see you around the channel this week i hope to see you off the channel on facebook instagram any place we can definitely connect but please leave me a comment in the comment section down below let's just check in with each other this week okay all right you guys like this video comment share subscribe i'm sending you so much love and i'll see you next week bye everyone